Welcome into the 49ers Report by Chat Sports. I'm your host, Chase Senior. I hope all of you are having a very good week. Coming up on today's show, we're going to take a look at whether or not the 49ers should trade Jimmy Garoppolo this offseason, given how well he's been playing over the last month and the development of Trey Lance. This is something that I was asked about during our live show on Tuesday as we go live on the 49ers Report every single Tuesday, 7 o'clock Eastern, 4 o'clock Pacific. And Kyle Shanahan and Bo Jimmy G, when they met with the media today on Wednesday, did discuss Garoppolo coming back in 2022. So Jimmy Garoppolo the last four weeks of the year has arguably been one of the best quarterbacks in football. The stats show that and the eye test shows you that as well. Completion percentage just under 70, which is excellent. He's thrown for more than 1,000 yards and three of those four wins during that span. Six touchdowns to one interception and his quarterback rating, folks, 113. And really, he's been among some of the elite quarterbacks over the last month of the season. It really started to turn a corner after that disastrous Sunday night football performance against the Indianapolis Colts. Then when Jimmy G went back to his home state of Illinois, balled out against the Bears in front of 100 friends and family members. So the last couple of weeks and really throughout the middle portion of the season up until now, he's been the highest graded quarterback, according to Pro Football Focus, since week eight. He's the highest passer rating among all quarterbacks since week eight as well. He's also put together four straight weeks of a passer rating of 100 plus, which is the current best streak among all quarterbacks in the National Football League. And I thought this stat was pretty fascinating. He has a 17 and four record on the road now after defeating the Jacksonville Jaguars. That is the best record among all quarterbacks going all the way back to 2000. So going into this year and throughout Garoppolo's 49ers tenure, we knew that this guy was capable of winning a lot of games. And I think the numbers have been sneaky good over time, but really the last month of the year, those numbers have truly been elite. Here's where it starts to get a little bit hairy about his status with this team moving forward. He's got a $27 million cap hit in 2022. And there are some really key players who the 49ers might look to extend this upcoming offseason. And some pivotal franchise pillars that they want to bring back and lock up long term. We're talking about the likes of Nick Bosa, who's having a career season. So too is Debo Samuel, who's really having a historical campaign. One of the best offensive seasons we've seen from any weapon in the history of this illustrious franchise. You take a look at what Nick Bosa is doing so far in 2021, leads the NFL in tackles for loss with 15, has 22 quarterback hits, and has a career-high 10 sacks coming off that torn ACL. Going into this year, I had said Nick Bosa might secure the bag if he proves that he can stay healthy. Well, so far, he's been able to stay healthy, and he's been absolutely dominant. So, too, is Debo Samuel as a pass catcher and as a runner. Love what Kyle Shanahan has been doing, giving the rock to him as a running back. Just put the ball in the hands of your elite playmakers. Let him go into the lab and do work. 55 catches, 994 yards, that's second in the NFL. Also has the second most all-purpose yards in the NFL up to this point, and an average yards per catch mark of 18 with five total touchdowns. Now, if Trey Lance is ready to play next year, then I don't think it makes a lot of sense to have Jimmy Garoppolo on the roster, especially with that cap hit of $27 million, especially factoring that they might have to pay big time bucks to Nick Bosa, as well as Debo Samuel. If Jimmy Garoppolo is on this team and Trey Lance isn't ready to play, then it makes sense, final contract for Jimmy G, to keep him if you think that you can continue to win football games, which is the trajectory that the Niners are on right now. So it really all comes down to Trey Lance. If he's ready to play, why sit him again? If he's not ready to play, maybe it's smart to move forward with Jimmy G as the starter. What do you think, though? Predict the future of Garoppolo. Is he going to be on the team next year? Type Y for yes, type N for no. Be sure to get those votes in in the comment section. This is going to be the pinned comment, so just scroll on down and get your votes in. Thanksgiving is tomorrow, and in advance, happy Thanksgiving to everybody. It's also the biggest drinking night of the year tonight on Wednesday, pre-Thanksgiving. So if you do that, get litty, have fun, be responsible. But also, Black Friday coming up in a couple of days. And if you don't want to go out to the stores, we have some deals for you. Thanks to our friends at Fanatics on some fresh 49ers merchandise. A couple of items we want to tell you about. 50% off on this hoodie. If you use that link down below, chatsports.com slash 49ers hoodie. Therefore, Fanatics knows that we sent you. How about this fresh 49ers beanie? 
Now, living in Northern California, it can get cold up there, but if you live in a cold weathered state, it's fall, winter right around the corner, and this beanie was $22, now it's 11. Simple math shows you, that's 50% off. Yeah, I failed elementary algebra in college, but I can still do the math right there. $11 for a San Francisco 49ers beanie to keep you warm during the cold months. And how about this hat t-shirt combo? The material on that shirt is money. That too, 50% off. Was 40, now it's 20. These deals are killer, but you have to use those links that we've been filtering at the bottom of your screen. If you're confused about this, hit me up if you have a question, or those links are going to be in the description as well as the comment section of this video. You have to use those links for those 50% deals to apply. And also, we want to let fanatics know that we sent you there to their site. As for quarterback needy teams, where Garoppolo could get traded to, just a quick list that I put together, and there are probably more teams that you can add to this equation as well, but these are quarterback needy teams that could make an offer for Garoppolo this offseason, once again, if Lance is ready to play and rock as the starter next year. Houston Texans, Tyrod Taylor and Davis Mills, they ain't it. Nor is Drew Locker, Teddy Bridgewater with the Denver Broncos. Taylor Heineke, I think, is a high-level backup fringe starter, but Garoppolo might be better than him. Pittsburgh Steelers, is Ben Roethlisberger going to retire, or is the organization going to move on from the guy who has brought them two Super Bowls and is on his way to the Hall of Fame? I think that could happen because his arm looks somewhat shot, and I'm not sure if Tua Tungavailoa is the long-term starter with the Miami Dolphins. Of course, these teams might be in the running for a player the likes of Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson, but if those trades can't happen, they might look to that second tier, which is where Garoppolo currently resides. It would be really hard for me, if I'm in the shoes of John Lynch, as well as Kyle Shanahan, to say no for a top pick. If one of those five teams hit me up, they gave me a ring, gave me a text, and they said, Chase, you're the general manager of the 49ers. We really like how Garoppolo played over the last four weeks, but let's say that trend continues and he just continues to ball out, leads the 49ers to the playoffs and they make a deep run and he continues to play at this high level. We want to offer you a first, second, or maybe third round pick for Garoppolo. If Lance is ready to go, I understand he has so much upside. I love his potential as a thrower and a runner, an athletic specimen who's got a bazooka for our arm and can really make that offense less predictable because of his dual threat ability. I might not be able to say no to a top three round pick in exchange for Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, Kyle Shanahan was asked about Garoppolo coming back next year because of how well he's been playing. Kyle Shanahan said this, and Jimmy G maybe had a little bit of a different answer depending on how you want to take the verbiage. Shanahan first, there's a chance for anything, but I think we've made it clear that Trey Lance is our guy of the future. Interesting stuff right there. Jimmy Garoppolo was asked the same question, and he said this, somewhat vague and kind of just coach speak. I try not to close any doors too early. It's one of those situations that you've got to let play out. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it is what Garoppolo had to say about coming back in 2022. To summarize all of this up, $27 million cap hit for next year. Yes, Debo Samuel and Nick Bosa will have one year remaining on their rookie contracts after this year, but you don't really want to play with fire there. I'd want to extend those guys, lock them up, especially considering that the salary cap is going to grow. So too is the money in the NFL with these new TV deals. So you could get them at maybe a discounted price, even though they're elite players. And it also comes down to Trey Lance and his readiness to play and an offer. If it's a first or second round pick, I'm not sure that you can say no. Now, it was reported by Seth Wickersham of ESPN back several weeks ago that during the offseason, around the time of the NFL draft, that the Patriots and 49ers had a phone call about a trade for Jimmy Garoppolo, and the 49ers had turned down a second round pick. That was all in Seth Wickersham's new book. We did talk about it at the time, but I want to resurface this quote because it goes to show you some value that Garoppolo has when he's spinning the football and letting it rip and really accurate with his throws and just playing a clean, good brand of football. Wickersham with this, there was an informal call between a high-level representative of, of the Patriots and a high-level 49ers official. What was Garoppolo's price? New England wondered if a second rounder would suffice, calling it even from 2017, but the 49ers wouldn't take less than a first. I think if you called back up the 49ers organization, offered up a second round pick, 
I think they'd be stupid to say no because I think Lance has the potential to be a very elite quarterback. But it really all once again comes down to his readiness and Garoppolo. If he plays well from here on out, I mean, he could really, really increase his trade value, which is a big reason why we're having this conversation today. Niner gang, I want you to sound off, and I do want you to be honest, as you usually always are. And get fired up in the comment section right now. I want your votes. Would you trade Garoppolo for a second rounder? You're in the shoes of John Lynch and Kyle Shanahan. Would you pull the trigger? Type T for trade, type P for pass. Also, we're going to be doing a watch party for this huge game on Sunday. Two five and five teams fighting for their lives for a playoff spot in the NFC, right in the thick of things of the NFC playoff picture. Of course, we're going to be doing a watch party, live play-by-play, -play, stats analysis. I'll be taking your questions throughout as well. Maybe we'll even whip out the Patron once again to take some shots at tequila, shotgun, and beers. It's going to be a party because every week is a party during our watch party. So make sure you subscribe and join us. We'll be going live 15 minutes before kickoff at 4.10 p.m. Eastern. And also, give me a follow on Twitter and Instagram at Chase underscore Senior. You might be cracking up at how that reads down below. People have gotten into the comment section and they're like, Chase Senior, producer Jack Lauderay, any given day, they're producing five to six videos. Chase Senior, he's on air that much. He's a content daddy. It's their words, not mine. I'm just asking you for a follow. If you want to call me the content daddy, you can spam that in the comment section down below. But just hit me up. Love talking Niner football. Love talking NFL as well as NBA because I do it all here at Chat Sports. I'm not a one-way stiff. And if you want to talk to me about life advice, I got you covered there. I've been through some things. So hit me up, and thanks for watching today's show.